I think the relationship with Facebook uh, has helped us uh, focus on growth, and uh, it has helped us focus on making our product better, which is what something that has always been important to us. Since the acquisition, we, we were basically able to continue down the uh, path and, and execute on a vision that me and Brian and the team has always had. So we launched things like voice calls, for example, last year, and we've launched things like a web client uh, for WhatsApp. That, that is something we always wanted to do. And for example, with something like voice calls, we were able to launch it using Facebook infrastructures. Today, we're announcing that WhatsApp is going to be free for consumers. We're not going to charge people a dollar a year anymore. Because it really doesn't work that well in, in a lot of countries. And it's hard for people to pay. They don't have a credit card. They don't even have a bank account. And we just don't want people to think that at some point, their, their uh, communication with the world will be cut off. It creates this kind of anxiety in, in our network that we don't want people to have. And so when we think about our philosophy of building something that is utilitarian, that, that helps users in their daily lives when they communicate with their friends and family, we kind of want to experiment with doing the same with businesses and make sure, make sure that the communications that you have with businesses is just as efficient, it's just as easy, and it's just as simple as what we've done with consumer space. We already have anecdotal reports of people using WhatsApp for businesses. We have people in India uh, use what we have. Somebody who runs a deli shop who takes order for sandwiches uh, in India through WhatsApp and just makes sandwiches for people. We, we know of people who, um, we keep hearing the story about uh, somebody who makes chocolates and sells chocolates through, through WhatsApp to their clients. So we already have all these anecdotal evidences of, of people using WhatsApp to help power and help run their small businesses. And we just want to build better tools and better user experience to make it available to to larger set of uh, commercial enterprises and people who want to communicate with those commercial enterprises. Thing you've been working on, which which you haven't um, discussed much, is is encryption. Um, so um, slowly, it seems you're you're adding encryption to the product. Um, what are your what are your aims there? So we partnered with, with Open Whisper Systems uh, about a year and a half ago, and we've been slowly rolling out end-to-end -end encryption uh, throughout our product. And we've done it in a very, very interesting and unique way. We've done it without people necessarily noticing that, it ha that it's happening. Um, and today, actually, if you use the latest version of Android or latest version of Android, your, your, your messages, your individual messages are already end-to-end uh, -end encrypted, but uh, we're still, we're almost there. We obviously want to be there as soon as we can, but uh, we're probably a couple of months away or a few months away from kind of calling it done. Um, and when, when it will be done, it will be amazing because it's going to be the largest installation, the largest kind of end-to-end -end installation um, in history with given our user base and given how many people we have.